Hey guys, the Tater here. Uh, exciting news that I haven't told anyone yet. I got a fursuit. Um, I actually bought this. I bought it from the artist uh, of Plush Geek. I should grab one of their cards and I didn't um, have them. But I packed them away for Ferlandia this weekend. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do an unboxing video for this suit. I have not seen it at all. I have no idea what it looks like besides the rough sheet that was given. Um, so yeah, uh, first off, I know I, I just lifted it up here. <clears throat> he is a partial, uh, so he's only going to come with head, paws, I did get some room sleeves, I bought those separately, um, and a tail. So, look how cute that is. And if you don't know Rook, he is my not so red red panda. So, let's scoop this over. I have it on a chair. Uh, handy dandy scissors. So, let's crack into it. Maybe. It always scares me when I see people opening these suits. Or doing unpainting <laughs> boxing videos with giant knives. I'm like, oh god! One side done. Two sides done. I'm actually really nervous. I've never purchased a suit myself without seeing like work in progress or purchased a suit even. Oh, I see some blue. <laughs> oh, 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 what? No way. Okay. First off, the posies. Oh, the blue is so pretty. I thought it was going to be way brighter too. Oh, man. I really like the quality on these. Oh. I got four fingers, which is weird, because I never typically get four fingers. So, let's bring that in a little bit closer for you guys to see. I love the shape of these claws. They shape very nice. Um, put the little paws there. This, personally, is going to take time to get used to because I'm not used to that. Uh, the fur is really, really pretty. I believe this is from fabric.com. Uh, the shaving is very, very smooth. I'm assuming this is a shaved and not... Yeah, that's, that's got to be shaved. Um, that's really, I love the shape of the claws. Those are very, very nice. Okay, we're going to put him, put those right there. All right. Oh, there's a little goodie bag. Oh, here we go. Uh, figure out which way my hand goes. There's a logo. Um, I helped actually digitalize that for him. And, uh, this artist is super, super easy to work with. They, oh, she knows that I like Pokemon. No meow. Pop and candy cola. I don't know what this is. Besides, obviously, pop rocks and candy. I'm going to put it directly right into my mouth hole. And a tiny little Pikachu. I think it's gum. That's cute. Anyways, what I wanted to show was the card, really. Um, using my camera is so weird. It's probably not going to focus. Maybe. So it's Plush Eek, uh, Fursuits Maker, and more is Lachey. Uh, you can find her on Facebook at facebook.com plush. So it's P L U S H dot Eek, E K K 5. There's a dot there. So plush dot Eek dot 5. Um, 
there's a phone number on here. Maybe I shouldn't have shared that. I think that's all the business cards. Yeah, or uh, plushie at yahoo.com. I'm running out of space to hold my things. I want to see what's in the cute little envelope. Oh, I don't want to ruin the sticker. There we go. I'm going to go around it. Yeah, I'm staring at the whole time at this tail, guys. This tail. Pop off there. Okay. More plush eek related things. Uh, thank you card. Thank you for choosing plush eek. We hope you love your purchase. I do. We handmade our commissions and pre-made items with lots of love and care to make sure you're 100% satisfied. If you have any questions, then it goes to where you can contact them. <clears throat> okay, so moving back. Oh, so this is one thing that I don't see a lot of people do, or less see a lot of people when they make fursuits. Um, there's an actual receipt showing what days I paid, how much I paid, etc., etc., etc. Um, the total amount and down, like, the amount owed and the amount paid. Um, that is very, very nice. Not only for makers, because I used to make suits too, not only for your own safety, but that way you can be like, no, Loki paid on this day, I'm here. Alright, so, holy belt loops, Batman. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Tail! So fluffy. Oh. That's neat. The bottom of the tail is actually shaved down. Um, I'm assuming that would be for cleaning. And it's going to drag the floor. So I'm going to have to get something to protect that. The... Oh, so fluffy. That green is so nice too. Oh, it shakes out pretty. Let's bring it here a little closer. The cap here is sewed on. Um, it's all hand sewed from the looks of it. You have three belt loops. Ooh. Hopefully my belt will fit through there. I have a smaller belt too. My first two belts should fit through there. Ah, oh. oh, shake the tail. You see how pretty that shakes out? It's very nice. It's huge. I've never had, like, an oh my god tail. I've had big tails, but this is a big tail. Like, oh, holy crap. Okay, so I see the head. So we're gonna save the head for last, because that's where everyone does, because you're only here for the face. These I added on. It should be the arm sleeves. I'm not sure how she was going to do that. <clears throat> Rook has little stripes here. So, oh, and they got a... No, this is sewing. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I was like, oh, they got a cuff. No. But he's got little... Little stripes for his design. Um, they come up to about the cuff of your sleeve. It might come up higher once the straps put on. Oh, I guess they do come up higher if I just pull them up. That's a thing. <laughs> put your clothes on correctly. <laughs> Who does that? <clears throat> eh. Joy first or anything? Fur! And everything is um, individually wrapped, which is nice. Okay, so for the main piece here is Rook himself. Ran wrap at it. Oh, you're good. Oh, 
Oh, more stuff in his face. Oh, cute! Hey, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm wearing, wearing the shirt too. Oh, it's like a squishy thing. Let's rip pandas stick together. Thank you. Okay, so let's pop him up here. So we can see him a little bit better. So then we have Rook. It's a, a cute little tongue. They went orange. I wasn't sure what color they would go with. I told uh, Nightshade that, or the Makers of Plushie, uh, that they could pick whichever color they wanted. It has little stripes here. This is very cute. He's on a block of it on the inside here. Look how cute that face is. It's, bah. It's so cute. I love the ear shape too. The ears are shaped so nicely. And the bright, like, the shaving is very nice. Um, so, oh, look at his nose. I didn't realize his nose was a... Still going. I was going to say plastic. I'm like, it's not plastic. That's cute. So yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to pause this. Get as much suit as, as I can. I don't think I can put the tail on. Just because I don't have a belt. Um, wait for a second. We'll do the, the upper half at least. So yeah. Give me one second. I'll pause this and we'll come back. Ooh, don't slide. Is it going? It's going! Okay, so, hi there, I'm back. Um, let me slide this with a hand on, because I needed it to hit the buttons. There you go. No fair. Bleh. So, the vision on this thing is really nice. The problem with having hand paws. Only one handsy gets to be one pawsy at a time. Come on, hand. It's really hard to put hand paws on when you only have one hand. There we go. I think these are on the right handsies. I don't know. I've never had um, four fingers, so I'm not sure. Anyways. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll try projecting myself a little louder. This is Rook. Um, so, coming a little closer so I don't have to scream. The head is very nice. It's, the vision is pretty, I mean, even here I can still see. Um, right here I can't see my hands. Here I can. Uh, your typical can't really see below your muzzle he because he has a short muzzle I can't see but lower here um, and I am looking straight forward I mean I can see my my fingers up here most things don't come down on top of you unless you're like me and you're short <laughs> but yeah I got like let me back up a little bit so it makes more sense. Like, yeah, huge, huge range of vision. Um, almost no blind spot in the middle, which is nice. Don't, doesn't quite have a following. I mean, he kind of has a following me, but it's not a severe one, which is nice. Um, that's just for me. I really don't like following eyes. They, they're cute when you're talking to a suit, but in a picture, you can't tell. Uh, the head is super lightweight. Pretty much only here is foam. Uh, my mouth is really not that far away, which is nice for drinking. Or eating things, I guess. Like, oh, I have to figure out cute poses.
the arm sleeves up to the hand here. This is probably not the best hand to show because I had to take another hand to put it on. Uh, like I figured, the tail I couldn't do without a belt. Um, but yeah. There's really, there's a small where it doesn't connect, but the material connects it, so you can't tell. Um, that could just be my measurements too. But that's rather, I mean, it's nice. Uh, it's pretty breathable. I want piece that wants to come into my mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, I, I, super, super impressed. I really like how he came out. Um, today is March 20, well, it was done on March 23rd. That's when I picked him up. I started this. My last payment was March 1st. She worked on it during that, but... Uh, April 10th is when I got it. So the suit was done, in my opinion, really quick. Um, this is so much different compared to my other suit. If you guys know my channel, you need to know Tater, my ears go like here. I'm like, oh, I have little dainty ears. Little, little dainties. But yeah, um, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. Again, this is Rook. Uh... Yeah, and if you're going to Ferlandia, this is how you'll find me. So, bye, Z. Ooh, I get hit by.